happens. I'm gone. Please believe. the townhouse on the same day that a boarder renting a room inside. 37-year-old Kujo Ajiakodi was last seen alive. Uh, I heard loud music, like, really loud. And that's unusual. Police flooded the neighborhood, searching for evidence that Cody had been murdered. Is dead. That's a fact. So, the question is, 
questions. Why? You can tell the difference between the blood of a fox and the blood of a human being. Yes. What do you think the blood of your mattress is? That's the blood of a period. From period? Yeah, I'm on this period. And what woman would that be? Yeah. The fox. The black fox. That's the fox blood there. That was your blood. Tell me, Alex, tell me what you did. How did you kill him? Could you just take the basement? Nobody wants to go to the basement. And I stay in the basement with him. So I said, is he ready to die? If I had to know, I'm ready to die. about it. 
in this grotesque in a way that leads one to thinking that he really is psychotic. Are there pieces of Cujo in or around your house? Uh, <laughs> can you give me an idea where they are? Well, this head is taken care of. Can you tell me any more than that? Do you have anybody at the house right now? Mm -hmm. Can you get him on the phone? something not at all funny and part of it of course could be attributed to the callousness that you see in psychopathy so perhaps it's a blend of both he's not disturbed by the killing that's the psychopathic element the driving force for that may be delusional in his mind it all makes sense they're still shocked by it as we are when we learn about what he did but in his mind that's what was necessary to do Massacre students. Take note of a problem. Solve that. <laughs> Event for spring 2012 coming up. Prevent another university shooting. He would view us as the problem. That we who don't take action are the problem. He is the solution. He was in Maryland, and that's right next door to Virginia. So I think, you know, there's certainly a proximity, maybe a fear, but if you're paranoid, that proximity gets closer than it really is. You get a sense of uh, Mr. Kinyo's life that there's always some kind of threat lurking. Mr. Kinyo was diagnosed formally as paranoid schizophrenic. It's important to note that most paranoid schizophrenics are not remotely violent, but paranoid schizophrenia with psychopathic features and violence are an extremely dangerous um, combination. necessarily connected. This is part of, you know, the delusion on worsening 
that he, the family's under threat, they're being annihilated by an outsider. As the delusions get deeper, so does the psychopathic process. Should be found incompetent to stand trial without a hearing. 